In my last video, I did a quick overview of Chia. If you haven't checked that out yet, I encourage you to do so, as in this video, I'll be going over a build guide for a Chia plotting and farming computer that can easily plot at least 40 plots per day. 40 plots per day comes out to about 4 terabytes of plots per day, and the cost of this system is only $960 without storage. If you're following Chia, you'll know that there are websites out there, like this one, selling plots for around 20 to 30 pounds per plot right now. While I'm not advocating people sell Chia plots, I'm just using this number to show the value of the system we'll be going over today. At these prices, it means that 40 plots per day that this machine's capable of making would be worth around $1,223 per day paying for itself in the very first day or two of operation. I want to start with a disclaimer. I actually believe in Chia as a technology, and I think it's a great solution to wasteful proof-of-work cryptocurrency mining like Bitcoin and Ethereum and others. That's why I'm keeping all of the plots I make, and the Chia that I farm, and not selling a single one. I think the six to $700 value of it today will only go up over time. Having sold 17 Bitcoin when it was worth around $900 a Bitcoin and seeing what it's worth today, well, I have my regrets, but I didn't believe in Bitcoin like I do in Chia, so this is totally different. I think this is a much more sustainable solution to cryptocurrency, and I'm going to be hodling for the long term, and I encourage you to do the same. That said, with Chia being priced at between six and $700 right now, at least as of the making of this video, I'm not so sure everyone else will be so forward thinking. I can't make a video about a budget Chia farmer and plotter without explaining the problem we are trying to solve. One of the first things you'll realize about Chia is how long it takes to plot. Before you can farm Chia, you have to plot it. As I said in my previous video, plotting is a slow process. It can be sped up by plotting on NVMe or flash storage, but ultimately you're going to have to wait for each plot, and the amount of time you'll have to wait can range from between 5 to 12 hours or more per plot, even with the fastest processor and flash storage. It's not all bad news though, and there's a way to speed this up. The best way to overcome this challenge is to plot in parallel. Plotting in parallel is exactly what it sounds like, creating multiple plots simultaneously. The best way to accomplish this is to have fast storage that you're plotting to, and a decent amount of it. It's hard to make generalized statements with regards to how many plots an individual NVMe or SATA SSD drive can handle, and the best way is to compare your plot times with something like the SWAR plot manager, as you see here, as you fine-tune things. That said, I can give you an overview of what I saw when tuning and graphing plots over time, and it might be a helpful guide for you to make some decisions about how to fine-tune your system. There are a number of variables here that you will want to balance. Each plot needs about 239 Gibby bytes, which is about 256 gigabytes of temporary space. So a single 2 terabyte NVMe drive with only 1.81 terabytes of usable capacity should only be able to do 7 plots at once, right? Well, not exactly. If you stagger your plots, you can actually achieve a bit more than that. Let me explain. Plotting does not use a static amount of space. It's actually quite dynamic. As you can see here, there are seven concurrent plots in total, but they aren't all using the same amount of storage or memory. So what that means is you'll want to stagger plots so that they aren't all using 256 gigabytes of your temporary drive all at once. You also want to do this so they aren't all in the same phase and consuming too much of your other resources, like CPU or memory, all at the same time. I've found it's generally best to start at 60 minutes of stagger time between plots and dial it in from there. A Reddit user by the name of BeckAI graphed all of this for us, and I've included a link to his post which breaks down the phases and resource utilization very well. Obviously the disclaimer here is that your mileage may vary, but overall you can see that phase 1 tends to use the most CPU and memory, 
phase two and at the beginning of phase three, you tend to use the most temporary disk space and overall, all of the phases use a lot of disk IO. The following plotting results were all done on a single two terabyte Samsung NVMe Evo Plus drive. As you can see here with four concurrent plots with a stagger time of 60 minutes, the average plot time is 6.882 hours per plot on our test machine. When adding a fifth plot, this goes up to an average of 8.127 hours per plot. This means that if I plot with four plots simultaneously, I will see approximately 0.581 plots per hour or 13.944 plots per day compared to having five plots running concurrently and getting 0.615 plots per hour or 14.76 plots per day. You will want to increase these numbers until you see diminishing returns to find the sweet spot for your storage. Now that you can see how staggering plots and then increasing the number of concurrent plots can help, let's get into some of the performance numbers for our Chia plotting build. This machine has an E5 2699 V3 Xeon processor. We've included two Samsung NVMe 2TB Evo Plus hard drives. I'm able to get about 42 plots per day through this machine, and it can be built for about $960 without storage. For comparison's sake, the best performance I've squeezed out of an i7 10700K build is about 16 plots per day. Here is a breakdown of the parts used to build this system for under $1,000. This is mostly a pre-built computer, meaning it is mostly already put together. All you have to do is upgrade the processor, add some memory, and the NVMe drives. If you aren't comfortable doing that, there's a great video in the video description that walks you through how to do it step by step. The Dell Precision T5810 is a great value right now, and the 18-core, 36-thread E5 2699V3 Xeon processor is a workhorse for its price. The Dell Precision T5810 sells on Amazon right now for only $425, and it comes with a GPU, an SSD for your operating system, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. You will want to add an additional 32 gigabytes of RAM if you want to do more than four to five plots at a time. I'll explain further in a moment. There are some Amazon links to all of these parts in the video description, but the total price comes out to only $960 without NVMe storage. The reason I left the storage out of the total price is that there are a couple of different options that should be explained further. The two options really differ in their longevity, specifically the endurance of the drives. In option one, I've linked to a two terabyte Seagate Fire Cuda. This drive has a total endurance of 2.8 petabytes. This roughly means it will be capable of sustaining 2.8 petabytes of writes. The reason I say roughly is because not all writes are equal and the number varies depending on the size of the writes. For instance, many small writes will cause more wear on the drive than the advertised 2.8 petabytes it claims. Unfortunately, plotting is pretty hard on drives and causes a bit of wear, even though each plot is only 101 gigabytes in size. When finished, each plotting process can cause between 1.6 and 1.8 tibibytes of wear on your drive. For a better explanation of this, I've linked to a great article explaining what that really means in the video description below. But this ultimately means that getting drives with more endurance is always a good thing when using them for plotting. So what other options have more endurance out there? Well, in option two, I've included a 400 gigabyte Intel S3700 data center SATA SSD drive. If you go this route, my recommendation would be to purchase this cheap $25 LSI 9216E HBA and four of these breakout cables, or the HP SAS expander I mentioned in a previous video. If you go find that previous video, I also walk you through how it connects and what cables you need to make this work in the same video. The S3700 drives have really impressive endurance characteristics, making them a much more long-term solution to plotting. When I say long-term, I really mean long-term. These drives will likely outlast your plotting computer and its children. They have an endurance of 7.3 petabytes per drive, and at a cost of only $70 a drive, that's a really great value. 
Obviously, since they're only 400 gigabytes each, you'll want quite a few of them. So if you grab 12 of these 400 gigabyte drives, you'll have a combined total capacity of roughly 4.35 terabytes. Again, since they each have 7.3 petabytes of endurance, if you combine all of the 12 drives together, you'll have 87.6 petabytes of combined endurance. At 1.8 tibibytes per plot, that comes out to about 45,324 plots if spread across all of the drives. That is about 4,470 terabytes of plots that these drives can sustain, compared to the 2,897 plots, or 285 terabytes of endurance spread across two 2 terabyte Seagate Fire CUDA NVMe drives. Ultimately, it's your decision to make, and if you don't have petabytes of storage for plots, then it might not make sense to buy such high endurance drives for you. Moving on to the memory. The memory you pick out should be sized appropriately. Each plot consumes roughly 3,390 megabytes of RAM at max, but generally uses a lot less than that. I've found that I can run 19 to 20 plots in parallel with a stagger time of 60 minutes and only consume about 50 gigabytes of RAM. If you give this machine 64 gigabytes of RAM, you should be able to do the same. So that's it. This machine is capable of about 40 plots per day, probably more with further tuning, and it should run long into the future and not break your bank. I think this is a great option for both its price and performance. The systems are readily available with links in the description, and so are all of the parts as of the making of this video. With Chia being priced at between six and $700 per Chia right now as of the making of this video, I don't think that is going to stay true for very long. If you do the math, this machine could plot about 118 terabytes per month. Using ChiaCalculator.com, you can see that at the current price, after one month of plotting, that comes out to around $8,800 of Chia. If you're thinking about getting started, I highly encourage you to, as I think that we're going to start seeing shortages in hard drives and hardware coming very soon. If you go with some of the other options out there, keep in mind that you may be limited by fewer PCI Express lanes for NVMe storage or network adapters, less total maximum memory, and a lower overall core count, which will mean less performance. Keep these things in mind when putting together builds, as they can easily come back to haunt you down the road. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. It really encourages me and motivates me to make more videos. And thank you all for your time.